Did you guys know that this year marks the 35th anniversary of Moonwalker? Yes, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, it's like sort of a music mashup, anthology type of short films, like it's just got a little bit of everything in it. And Moonwalker came out in 1988. Originally, it was released in theaters in Europe and in South America, and it was supposed to be also released around Christmas uh, weekend in 1988 in the Americas, but it did not happen. It was later released on VHS tape, and it was one of the best-selling VHS tapes. I believe it stayed at the top of the Billboard chart for uh, videotape releases for about 22 weeks. For those of you who are also, like, you know, have some difficulty with math, that's four times, that's like five months. Very long time. Um, but we don't talk about Moonwalker that much, and I find it to be a travesty. And I have got to blame myself too, right? Because for the last several years on this channel, I have never done a video on Moonwalker. I mean, I've done little stints here and there. I've talked about Leave Me Alone. I've talked about Speed Demon. Both of those sh um, short films kind of almost originated, you would say, from the Moonwalker film. But I did not ever do a dedicated video to Moonwalker. And so today I would take some time out to talk to you guys about Moonwalker and also show you guys a subscription box that I got from, ta-da, none other than MJ Market. Sorry, I know the, the um, lighting gets a little bit weird when I bring this box up. But I want to talk to you guys about this because this month's MJ Market is going to be celebrating Moonwalker and 35th anniversary and it is going to be actually... Also perfect for the holidays, you guys. If you guys are looking for a holiday gift or gift ideas to send to someone that might be wondering, what can I get for you, MJ fam, for Christmas? Yes, you guys, the box is here. I also am gonna have a code for you. It's gonna be linked in the description box down below. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into this box. And I can't forget my intro. You are now watching MJ Fangirl TV. Okay, so for those of you guys who may not be aware, Michael Jackson Market is a website, it's an e-commerce marketplace that was founded by two fans, um, one from the UK and one from the Americas, and they've kind of joined forces to source for you guys some of the most rare collectibles, really awesome Michael Jackson merchandise that you can purchase from their website, michaeljacksonmarket.com. And yeah, all, all of the uh, items that they have, they have amazing stuff like tour jackets, they've got CDs and vinyls, but then also they've got like Pepsi cans, they've just got a little bit of everything. So if you're looking for something for the holidays for a fellow Michael Jackson fan, or if you are looking for like some ideas to tell people what to get you, or if you just want to treat yourself, because there's never a better time of year to treat yourself than, well, every day, but hey, why not now too? Um, so yeah, so you um, should definitely check out Michael Jackson Market, and they recently, I mean actually it's been like a year now I think, or more, that they've come out with these subscription boxes, and the subscription boxes have a new theme every single month, and this month's theme is Moonwalker, every single box comes with a t-shirt, I'm going to show you guys mine here, this is what the t-shirt looks like, this is what I chose, um, they actually have several, I think they this month they have two different, um, Designs. Two different designs that you could choose from. And so, I'm just rambling on, um, but I love this box, and I've been telling you guys about this box for ages. Um, yeah, this is just a little card that comes in each box. It's from the founders, Jonathan and Jamie. And yeah, so this is just some extra information, but now I'm reading this, I'm realizing I should tell you guys too, no boxes are ever alike. No two boxes are ever alike. So every single one is unique and um, you will be answering like a little survey, I think, when you first sign up for the subscription box, kind of telling them what you're interested in. But without further ado, oh, let's get into this. Okay. Okay. First of all, this is so cool. Okay, you guys. I have to start off by saying I really don't have enough 45s. This is a 45 of, and it's got the original Epic sleeve, Smooth Criminal. Smooth Criminal, and you guys, um, there we go. You can see it's got, this side is the instrumental and this side is the original um, song. And Smooth Criminal is just, I mean like that's just like the main, like that's like the 
I feel like that's the biggest gift that we were given from Moonwalker is like that long version of Smooth Criminal and like the story behind it and stuff. And so this is really cool. Um, you guys, if you have a record player, you can play a 45. I'm pretty sure there's just like that little insert that um, you put on to give it that little bit of extra room to make sure that the 45 fits on there. But this is so cool. I'm always excited. And I'm always excited for instrumentals. Not something that I like listen to that often because... You know, you just like without without listening to like CDs and like when you're given stuff like this, like you kind of are like, oh my gosh, let me revisit it. That would be cool to listen to. And so Smooth Criminal is just one of those instrumentals that's just like so much fun, so much fun. Thriller at, is as well. And I think it's because like you just associate the song with the visual. So I love it. Um, ooh, okay, I'm going to save that for last. I saw something really cool, but I'm going to save that. Okay, what is this? Oh my gosh, this is too cool. Okay, so this is like, it looks like it's like a little promo card. It is in German. I think it's in German. Can somebody tell me? Jenny, if you're watching this, <laughs> what does this say? <clears throat> this is so cool. It looks like it's promo material from like the bad tour and it like is also talking about Moonwalker, obviously. And you know what's so cool? This is like the symbol that um, they've been using for Michael for however many years. And yes, I kind of knew that it was um, from Moonwalker, but like I never associated it with this. And then now I'm looking and I'm like, okay. But this is cool. And this is one of the reasons why it's so awesome to get this subscription box because they find stuff and send stuff that I never would have thought about. Um, this is just a little card. Okay, what is this? Interesting. Okay, so you guys, if you ever wanted to go to a Michael Jackson tour, you probably would have gotten this. I probably would have gotten this. This is a Michael Jackson World Tour preferred seating badge. So let me um, show you guys how it looks up close. This is like an official item from the bad tour. How cool would it have been to like actually been up there up close? Preferred seating, Pepsi NTT. This, I'm assuming is, is this from, well, I don't know where this is from, actually. NTT to me is Nippon Television. Is it from Japan? I'm not sure. Or is it just from here? Let me look at the back. It says printed in the USA, number one entertainment printer. So I'm not sure, but this is cool. Like, you know what's, What's awesome too is like, I think that we should just have like at somewhere, some, at some time, someone should throw an event where like fans get together and we just like dress up as though we were going to one of these shows. Like we wear like our little like, you know, backstage passes and we go there with our <clears throat> merchandise, <clears throat> excuse me, our tour jackets and we just show up and we watch like the tour on the big screen and like we just pretend like we were there. Wouldn't that have been cool? I think we should plan an event like that sometime. Okay, so this is cool. Interest. I like. I never have heard of this. This is a spot the difference sheet. So like you know when you look in like the newspaper and they have these kind of like little games. This is this is what this is here. Okay, I see one small difference. I see two. Okay. And I see three. Okay, you guys, screenshot <laughs> if you want to spot the differences too. No, but seriously, like this is this is so cool. It says copyright 1988 Ultimate Productions. This is just awesome to like be taken back to that time, you know. Of course, classic with the prints. This is one of the. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see the other one on the other side. Okay, two prints. Look at that. Cindera Che. I think this is. Um, her name here. And then Michael Jackson stars in Moonwalker, a story of the classic struggle between good and evil distributed by Warner Brothers. Look at this. Like, this deserves a spot on my wall. I've gotten so many different, like, cool prints from NJ Market throughout the year. Um, and I'm just like, what do I put up? But I, I, I want to, like, kind of redo this wall back here because some of my posters are too high up. Um, okay, so let's look at this. This is too cool. Uh, this belongs on my laptop, you guys. This is a sticker, it looks like. And it says, Michael Jackson, 
Japan tour 1987. That means so much to me because I actually studied in Japan. That was like my major in college and stuff and I love Japan. So this is going on my laptop right after this video. And okay. Uh, I love, like this is so cool. And I think this is, I think this is like a real tour cup. Look at this tumbler, you guys. Let me show you guys more close up. Tour merchandise again. Something that I would have never thought of to purchase on my own or to even look for. Cause like stuff like this, like I didn't even know that it existed. But who else loves like this silhouette right here? Let me show you guys more up close. But like I love that silhouette that they used in the 80s for like the bad tour. I feel like it was so cool, like with the, the huge like shoulder pads. So amazing. Um, this is another one of um, the actual special items. So it, sometimes they have like specially made items um, for each box. And this is one of them. This is a Moonwalker pin. Let me see if I can get that close up for you guys. That's like when Michael did like that robotic transformation. This is a pin that's representative of that. And like the details on this are crazy. I actually was seeing that um, there was an event where this um, helmet or like this metal um, molding was on display. I would love to see that. Like there needs to be an actual like, what do you call it? Like a, um, like an exhibition on Moonwalker. Like that, that is, was such a missed opportunity. I don't know why that didn't happen this year. Come on, Estate, give us something cool. But then again, Thriller 40, so, you know. Okay, so awesome. We got some more Moonwalker items. There we go. I think you guys are seeing it. I hope you guys are seeing it. But yeah, this is just as Michael Jackson Moonwalker. Really cool. A Moonwalker sticker. Love this. Optimum Productions logo now. Um, or is it Triumph logo? I'm not sure. Again, <sighs> MJ Market knows the way to my heart, okay? They just do. A Japanese book about Michael Jackson here. Um, and this is so, this is just so cool. I love seeing, like it's just, and the photos are just beautiful. Um, okay, so let me start here and just show you guys, quickly flip through. Some of the photos in here are just, it's just amazing. Just so good. And like, again, sorry, they're mowing the lawn outside, but how would you guys, like, oh, and look at this. Some reading material for me, some practice material. But like, how would you know, you know what I mean, about this if you didn't get this box? All right, you guys, so I have saved the best for last. The Michael Jackson Swiss Milk Chocolate Bar. Here it is in all its glory. Beautiful, you guys, look at that. And I will tell you guys a little secret. This is like a reproduction here. Um, it's by MJ Market. This is actually, though, it's a real chocolate bar. So, if you guys did not know, there was a chocolate bar that came out um, in the 80s and in commemoration of Moonwalker. And look, you guys, if you were to get that chocolate bar, you couldn't eat it, you couldn't do anything with it, and they sell fast. It's like really hard to get. You should check out MJ Market because I have seen them have a couple every now and then. But this is a legitimate chocolate bar, and you guys, this will be snacked on. I think this is so cool that they came up with this idea to kind of like commemorate uh, Moonwalker, not only just the film, but also some of the merchandise. So I love MJ Market. I think it's a great deal. I think it's a great gift for any Michael Jackson fan. It's a great gift for any music fan. And it's a great way to treat yourself any time of the year. Um, I'm really excited to see what they're doing for 2024. Um, I hope that they will continue to um, want to work with me and get you guys like a nice discount code. So like I said, if you're looking for the code, visit the description box down below, right above the comment section. Um, but, but I'll also try to pin a comment with the link to this exact box as well as the code to get some money off. You guys, MJ Market is such a great deal and not to mention the shirts are amazing. Like, it's a no-brainer. Check out MJ Market. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And comment down below. Do you guys want me, like, to react to Moonwalker? Like, that would be such a long reaction that I would have to probably do that by myself or... Like, I, I, have to, I have to figure out the logistics of that. But, yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys are looking for that. I've got some more videos coming out the rest of this year. We got some more videos with Randall, so stay tuned for that. 
Thank you guys again for being here. We're on the road to 40K. We're almost there. See you guys next time. Make sure you subscribe. Bye.